players do come in. Lovely to meet you. I'll be doing your assessment today, okay? So it's going to be quite uh, quite a quick assessment today, alright? So get lovely and relax and we'll get on with this straight away, okay? Alright. Okay, so I'm going to be um, asking you to pick a spot anywhere behind me and look at that for me, please. And I'm going to be shining the lights into both eyes, just inspecting your pupils while you look at a particular spot behind me, okay? Alright, so keep looking at that spot. If I get in the way, please choose from number one. But make sure it is on the back wall, okay? It's important that you focus at a distance in order for me to perform this check, okay? It's good. Keep looking at that point. Okay, well done. Good. Okay, that's great. I'm just going to move over to the other side now. So if you can pick a point on this half of the back wall, okay? And we'll do the same again. So I'm just inspecting the pupils. And again, if I get in the way, please pick another point. Good stuff. Well done. Everything's looking fine by the way. We just like to have a good thorough check. Alright, but everything is fine, okay? Good stuff. Okay, that's wonderful. Give your eyes a well earned rest, okay? Alright, so we'll make a few notes here and we're talking to you through the next step, okay? So the next step involves the Snellen chart, which is the eye chart uh, we have here. Okay, I'm going to be testing uh, each uh, eye individually. Okay. Okay. So now I want you to read off the letters in the. Uh, minimal area, okay? So I want you to close over your left eye for me and read these letters, please. Okay, did really well, okay? Now I want you to close over your right eye for me, please. And again, read the letters, here we go. Okay, a quick check just back here. If you can close your left eye for me and tell me what letter that is. Okay, great, and close over your right eye and tell me what letter that is. All right, well done, that's fantastic. Good, so we're uh, already done with the first couple of steps. Okay, so there are uh, approximately 10 or 12 steps in total. Okay, so we're doing well. No problems uh, with that whatsoever. Okay, so again, really well done. All right. Okay, now I want you to close your left eye for me. Okay, so close your left. I'm going to close my right. And I'm going to be making numbers like so. I want you to tell me what the numbers are, okay? So you've got to be looking at my nose, okay? So keeping the left eye closed, looking at my nose, tell me what the numbers are that I'm going to, uh, you know, make for my fingers, okay? So left eye closed. Here we go. Good. Good. Okay, look at my nose. Good. 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 Okay, well done. We do the same on the other side, okay? It is a bit tricky, isn't it? Right, if you close over your right eye for me, I'm going to close my left, and we'll do the same again. Look at my nose, okay? So with your right eye closed, look at my nose. Here we go. Good. Good. Got a bit tricky towards the end there, but you did really well. All right, so that's fantastic. We're going to give you a full score there. 
Uh, no problems with your visual fields, um, so that's really good. Look. You did better than most people do, do on that test, so... Yeah, it's, it can be a little bit tough, but you did really well, okay? Alright. Alright, we're going to be doing a uh, follow the finger test with a bit of a difference, okay? So I'll be placing a uh, light behind my finger here, just to make it a little bit easier to track. As you can see the light behind my finger. Now I want you to uh, follow the... So keep the head still in line with my head, like so. So keep it nice and still. We're just moving the eyes in all positions of gaze, okay? So looking at the light, tracking it as we go. Okay, I'm going to hold your eyelids up as we just check in. It's fine, keep tracking the light. Okay, that's one. We'll continue to track uh, the finger with the light. And again, really hold your lids down. Keep tracking the light. Okay, good. Again, keep tracking the light for me. There we go, that's fantastic. Okay, gonna go all the way around. And there we go, relax. And how did that feel? Did that feel really strenuous on the eyes? Did the eyes hurt at all? Or did it feel reasonably comfortable? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So the idea of holding the eyelids up and down is just to see, uh, just to make sure you're looking all the way up and all the way down, okay? Uh, it is quite difficult to see, that's why we don't have to hold the sides of the eyes, it's always the uh, upper and lower eyelids, but no, everything is fine, okay? Alright. Alright, so I'm going to be coming over uh, your left eye to begin with, okay? And I want you to tell me what colour this block is. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to be coming over your right eye, and I want you to tell me what colour this block is. Okay, that's fine. Well done. Okay, once again, we're coming over your left. Tell me what colour that is. Okay, and the right, tell me what colour that is. Okay, and did it seem the same shade in each eye? Did it appear the same shade? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we using the red block again, okay? Now, I want you to pick a point behind me, okay? And we just placing the block across your vision like so. And I want you to tell me, uh, does the shade of red, does it, sound, uh, does it uh, look rather uh, the same in each eye? Okay, so look at the point behind me. And I'll be placing the block. Keep looking at the point behind me if you can. I know it's difficult, but you can do it. Okay, and did the block appear the same shade of red through each eye, more or less? There wasn't no big change between one eye and the other. It looked about the same. Okay, okay so on to the brightness desaturation test, okay? The test we've done previously was the red desaturation test, okay? Alright, so in order to do this, I'm going to be using the light. I want you again to pick a point uh, behind me, okay? I'm going to be showing the light into both eyes and then I'm going to be asking you, did the light appear the same brightness in each eye? Okay, so pretty simple. So yeah, anyway, we'll do on the back wall for me. That's wonderful. And I'm going to be showing the light into one eye and into the other. Back again. Okay, just keep looking at that point behind me. Okay, that's fantastic. All right. Now I need to ask you, um, did it uh, appear the same brightness through both eyes? Yeah, okay, that's fantastic. Okay, so the same brightness observed through both eyes. That's excellent, that's what we like to see. 
Okay, let me uh, check in for something what we call retro portion. Okay, all I need from you is for you to close your eyes for me and we press in on your eyelids. Is that okay? Yep. Alright, so close your eyes for me. Okay, that's wonderful. Keep your eyes closed. Okay, that looks okay. No worries there. Alright, if you could uh, just look up for me. Keep looking up. It's great to look down for me, please. Keep looking down. That's fantastic. Now, if you look to your right for me, please. Keep looking to the right. To the left. Okay, that's fine. And, uh, you don't have any, you're not experiencing any double vision or anything like that. And do the eyes feel okay? A little bit tired. Alright, that's fine, it's not a crime. It's, uh, yeah, keep, we'll keep at this, we're, we're doing well, okay? Alright, that's fine, so no worries there on retropulsion, that's fine. Okay, now I want to be feeling around the eyes and around your nose with my hands, okay? Just gently applying pressure around those areas, is that okay? Yep, alright, just keep your head nice and still then, but we're going down the nose. Do let me know if there's any pain, okay? I don't expect you to be in any, but please, do let me know. Alright, there we go. Okay, so far there's no pain. Okay, what checks? That feels okay. No, doing really well, okay. I press there, does that feel alright? Okay. Any pain at all around the eyebrow area? Does that feel okay? Alright, what I want to do now is just to be Using my thumbs and checking your eye sockets, is that okay? I'll be very gentle, okay? I'm just checking for symmetry on these sockets, alright? Alright, so let me check in the top area first. Resting my hand on your head, just make it a little bit easier for me. Just checking for the symmetry. Okay, and during that uh, examination, did you experience any discomfort at all? Doing well, okay. Good. Okay, we're checking the facial sensations now. We have three uh, different points. We like to check the V1, V2 and V3 as we call it. Okay, so we're touching uh, across the forehead and along the uh, sides of the nose and along the chin as well, okay. So. Okay, so I'm just gonna press it across with my thumb, okay. 
All right, so on the forehead first of all. Side of the nose. Okay, once again the forehead. Side of the nose. On the chin. Okay, now did the sensation feel more or less the same from one side to the other? Okay, do it one more time. Okay, just a double check. It's on the forehead. Side of the nose. On the chin. Did it feel more or less the same? Uh, here, okay. <laughs> so that's good. So V2, V3, V1, all the same. Uh, that's fantastic. All right, so we're doing some facial strength checks in just a moment, okay? Let me get a few notes here first. So we're basically checking for any sort of facial nerve injuries, okay? So I will ask you to perform certain poses as well as we're doing certain checks as well. So to begin then I want you to raise your eyebrows for me and keep them there until I say relax. And do let me know if there's any pain felt at all, okay? Any discomfort at all, it's fine, the eyebrows are fine. Okay, could you scrunch your eyebrows down for me and keep them there? Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Okay, that's fine and relax. No worries there. Okay, now I want you to squeeze, uh, close your eyes in just a moment, not quite yet. And what I'm going to be trying to do is trying to open them using my fingers and my thumb, okay? Now I want you to keep uh, your eyes closed as best you can, okay? So I want you to tightly close your eyes. So close your eyes for me and don't let me open them, don't let me open them, don't let me open them. And relax, we'll do it one more time, okay? So close your eyes for me nice and tight and don't let me open them, don't let me open them. And there we go, that's fantastic. Well done, all right. I know that's not the most comfortable of tests, but uh, they performed really well there. That's fine. Okay, if you could clench your teeth, so bite down on your teeth for me, if that's okay, if it's not causing you too much pain. And can you tell me if your jaw feels uh, aligned, so the top and bottom jaws? Okay. And uh, any pain at all when you perform that? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I've got to check your, um, what we call the mid-face uh, region mobility. Okay, so this means I need to place my hand in your mouth. Is that okay? Okay, so if you can just open your jaw nice and wide for me, as wide as you can. I'm placing my hand inside your mouth, just on your jaw area. Okay, that's fine, well done, okay. Not most comfortable, but uh, we have to do that check. So that's all good, all right, so no worries there. You've been very brave today, I do appreciate that, okay. All right. Okay, so your mid-face range uh, region mobility is good. Um, something you probably never knew, but there you are. It's good to check. Okay. All right, that's fantastic, so. Sounds a little more uh, tiny up here. We do have one more uh, test to go, okay. So, step a scope. Now what I'm going to be needed, uh, need to do now is to place the stethoscope on your eyelid, okay? So in a moment I'll be asking you to close your eyes and I'm just going to be having a little listen to your eyelids, believe it or not, they do make a noise. Uh, yep, yeah, so let me check in that, okay? So I place these in my ears. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so you close your eyes for me. Now we're going to do your left side first, then we do the right 
afterwards, okay? So we'll take a moment, so we'll do them, we'll give you a break in between, okay? So you close your, your left eye for me. There we go, apologies if it's cold. I'm going to take a little listen now. Fine. So give yourself a moment's rest and then I'll do uh, your right eye. Okay, if everything is sounding fine, okay, I'm going to make a note of that. There are certain sounds that we listen out for that um, you know, could uh, require further um, attention, but uh, everything's fine, alright? Good. Good stuff. Excellent. Very pleased with how it's gone today. How have you been? Feeling okay. Yeah, well, there's nothing to worry about. Everything's gone really well, okay? Just got to do that one final check on your right eye and then we're done, okay? So, let's get on with that. You ready? Okay, here we go. So, can okay, if you close your eyes for me? Okay, here we go. Place it on the right side. Having a good listen now, so... You bear with me for one moment. That's fine, okay. So everything is sounding as it should. You'll be pleased to know. Okay, so just a final note here, and then we can say goodbye. Alright, so excellent stuff, all very good, no problems whatsoever throughout the entire exam, okay? So that concludes the orbital eye exam. And I hope you found it uh, relaxing. Yeah, a lot of my patients do find it relaxing, which is always nice to hear. Okay. There we go, two out of two. So um, it's been an absolute pleasure to meet you, and we can always repeat the exam again in 12 months time, or sooner if you need it, so okay? If you do need a one sooner than 12 months, uh, do give us a call, otherwise you can go to reception and book one from uh, 12 months from now. All right? It's been an absolute pleasure. Take really good care of yourself and we'll see you again at some point in the future. All right, take good care.